to process your data, first thing you want to do is save it. I'm here in File menu, Save the Batch of Results. And you can see it should automatically go to the ACR Evolution data from 2018. So if you want to make a folder for your team, you're welcome to do that. In this case, I'll just save it as so go test. And this is the data is now saved in that folder. You can't read that data from your computer, so we'll print a PDF that you can read. After you've saved the actual file in an SRE format, you want to export the data as ASCII, data points of spectrum. Dialog window will come up. Down here, choose CSV, comma separated values, is what it stands for. This is something that Google Sheets or Excel can open easily. Uh, give it a name, so go demo. Okay, put this in the appropriate folder so that you can find it. Okay, so I've saved the data points. I'll now take that data, drop it into my Google Drive, and there it is. So it's in the Google Drive. Uh, if I open this now, you'll see that the data is here, all the data points are here, but I probably want to open that with Google Sheets. So here I go. And now it, here it is in Google Sheets. I can give it a better title, um, but there's the data which I can use anywhere in the world through my Google Drive. Up here, window, there's something called a report. And you want the report composer. Uh, it should come up like this. This is the default where there's a space for the graph, there's a space for the results table, there's a space for you to type a description of what is this data. If it doesn't come up from the file menu, you can open a report template in the same folder. Uh, there should be the Either one of these will work, report or ACR UV scan default. That's if you have a blank page here. The only thing you should need to do, sometimes you have to resize the graph. You can say, okay, that, that's too big. Um, and you can make the space smaller. Come on. But usually you want a nice big graph. And below it is the results table. You need to make sure that that looks good. Right now, my results table is way in the back here. I'll pull it to the front. Uh, again, if you're saying you can't find it, at the top here, window, results, will bring the results table to the front. And I just look at this, and it looks good. It has the title that I can read. If, if my title is longer, I can stretch this out. It has the wavelengths of the peak absorbance, all clearly labeled it's good. So that is part of the report. Window, report. So the re results table is here at the bottom, graph is in the middle, description is at the top. To edit the text, uh, you can double click on this. Now you can edit the text to be what you want it to be. Make it a good description of the actual experiment. Uh, what did you put in the cuvette? What is the purpose of the experiment? That's what you type as a description. Once you have the report as you like it in this space, we can print the report. I am going up here to the file, print menu, and there's a choice to print report as a PDF. Say OK. Way down here on the bottom is, it's trying to print the PDF, it's saying where do you want to save that? So this is where it should go in this PC, drive, local drive C, 
ACR evolution data. There we go. Um, I'll just call it SOGO test here. And now it is made a PDF. This you can read on any computer anywhere as long as you upload it to the team drive. Launch Chrome from the bottom of the screen here and log in to your Google Drive so that you can upload to the team drive. The team drive is accessible by all of you so here you can upload your data it's spectral data so I'm putting it in spectral data and now it's on the team drive right there where you can access that from anywhere. So ideally you've saved the data in three different forms you've got the SRE which can only be read by Vision Pro but it's there. You have the data points exported. You have the PDF right here. And there you go.